And at this point, uh, I'm going to pick on site settings, uh, the settings wheel. We'll go back to site settings. All right. So let's uh, now we're going to give uh, I use some better permissions at this time. So I'll pick on people and groups. So you were able to create your Microsoft login and get in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. So, um, all right, so you're actually a, a member, but we don't have full access for you yet. So I'm going to come over here and I'll pick on owners. All right, so Mike is in, Chad, we'll pick on new over here. Now, at this point, as soon as I type in Ayush, he should, it should recognize him now. And there it is. All right, so uh, that's excellent. And then the other person was uh, Mike or Desmond? Desmond. Okay, good. So let me put it in Desmond there. Notice how as soon as I start to type that in, and that'll happen at your company as well. It'll uh, link into your company's uh, directory as soon as it recognizes the uh, the information there. So I'll pick on share. Now, you, you guys probably got another email that, first of all, invited you to the site. And it, uh, a lot of times when you make these kind of changes, you know, that might have set up another email for you as well. And th that's what your 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 users are going to experience as well. So now we can see that we're all owners of this site. But you, in your case, I use you might have to refresh. So uh, I'm going to yeah. pick on, I'm going to pick on the home page. Uh, go ahead and pick on the home page over here, and then do a refresh of uh, the internet. And now I bet if you went up to your settings wheel, I have all the options. Exactly right. So. Um, you know, it, it happens pretty instantly, uh, but if that person is logged on to the site at that time, uh, they would have had to refresh. Okay. 